you know you know what why you need to be on that trip no because we're gonna have 250 people from here mm -hmm. to the caribbean yeah 250 back yeah i cannot be on both flights yeah so i need people like you okay to be on that trip to document the journey so you know what i am gonna pay a thousand dollars for you oh, wow thank you how about you <laughs> yes please just a dollar i mean we're gonna make it happen yeah we're gonna make it happen Charlie, make thank it happen. you very much no i, I want to see you on thank that you trip. very much thank you i really you want to see much. you on that trip yeah and that'll be the time to and show please come back oh come back because the caribbean is so sweet bro see the caribbean is a world out of uh, we'll be starting the tour by first seeing the middle dining room. But before we take a step down, let me give a, a brief history of the transatlantic slave trade and the history of this very uh, slave castle. I will start with the Portuguese. The Portuguese, they were the first Europeans to come to the shore of Ghana. The Portuguese were on our shores around 1471, and they came looking for gold. And when they came, they saw the gold. The natives or the Africans they met had been mining and trading in gold for centuries. So the Portuguese stayed on our shores because of the gold. Eleven years after the Portuguese came, around 1482, they acquired a piece of land in a town uh, in the middle dungeon. And the dungeon divided into five parts. And the five parts were divided into as many as 200 men to be held in this place. Practicing slave trade. Yeah, yeah, the Swedish, the Danish, the Dutch, the British, they all were taken captives. But the, the British were the ones who literally built this, the dungeons and all that. This is Hey, I hope you can see this brother right here. What am I? What am I? Yeah. My first question to you. Yeah. Who gave you this shit? I suffer power. I've never watched it. You've never watched it? I, I actually put it in my room. But today I was like, I miss us of power. So I just put it up and... Yeah. So you will never wash it? No, never. Because it has a spray of us of power. Yeah. So okay. I, the day I wash it... Okay. <laughs> the day I wash it, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> so I'll be wearing, I'll be wearing without washing it. Yeah. Nah, that guy's a legend, you know? Yeah, I used to I used to watch him. I still watch him, you know, do yeah. this thing on online and everything mm. you recently came back from the caribbean yeah. that is one place i'm always dreaming to just go and have a look because of the connection with africans here yeah. and then them Trust what me. what was it so far i mean your whole perception about caribbean people and then the african people what was your, the whole experience like for you to me what shocked me because we've been saying that oh we are just all africans we're all africans but when i go there i saw africa okay in there if i say i saw africa in there it's like literally you see people that look like you mm -hmm. you see a way of life mm -hmm. like yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i saw some, some of the videos like you go to the market you see africa mm -hmm. you, you go to their you get to their food you see african africa. food and that made me feel like you know what this is home too wow you know we're just the same people that are scattered across the globe and um, being in the caribbean makes me feel like it's about time for me to you know spend much more time yeah so that we we, we get to know each other yeah the, 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 the similarities is sick <laughs> like, yeah so if let me catch if i understand what you're saying mm. you going to the caribbean seeing other black people wasn't about that it was about the way of life like for example the trotro the when you go to the market people are because i saw wow. one of the videos wow. it's it's not for me it's not about the black people yeah it's about the way the, the way of life the culture mm -hmm. like, you know when i posted the videos people from different part of africa yeah uh, congo they're like ah in congo that's how we say this oh, okay okay like you you see africa taken out of africa and then mean place there like when i went to Suriname, uh -huh. you see in ghana we say opeti opeti yeah, yeah they also say Vulture, opeti. Like, yeah. they, they say kramantin that's yeah even if you go to the caribbean the, the warrior the fighter 
the spirit. Yeah. It's called Cromantine spirit. Cromantine spirit. And there's a Cromantine community just here. Yeah. So there's there's still that connection no, somewhere. Bro, it, the, it, the, the connection it, is no, there. No, it's not that. Bro, it's Africa out of Africa. I went to a wedding in Suriname, bro. And to me, the culture is kind of different. You know, okay. it, was, it was similar, but there was a, a, a slight difference in the way we do things in mm -hmm. here. So when I posted a video, I talked about it. Yeah. Then my uncle calls me, don't be stupid. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> so that's how your dad and oh, okay. I got married. But in Ghana, that culture kept changing. Okay. So which means that they left so many years ago mm -hmm. and they took that culture along and they've never changed it to today. Do you so understand? You, yeah, so you go there and then you wouldn't feel any different being in Ghana. That is it. <laughs> oh, like I know I, I wish <laughs> I know you know, I know due to this. If people ask me about my experience in the Caribbean, I don't even know what to say because I always say, you know, look around you. This is the Caribbean. Yeah. Look around you, like everything. Everything that we see here is a the, the way of fishing. Yeah. We, I don't know if it, there's a video that I, I did. I, I was actually at the shores. Like we, yeah, the fishermen came and brought the, the fish. The fish. And then the way they were pulling the net, just like here, singing. <laughs> <laughs> so no one can tell me that the Caribbean is not Africa. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that is the reason why you. I see you're coming out with a big project. Yeah. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about it? it? it it's a project that is on my heart mm -hmm. that I'll be so happy to make that history. Okay. Because you know, direct flights is not something that can connect us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to reverse the Atlantic. So when I was in Barbados, the Prime Minister invited me to come for Cropover, which is more like a, a carnival that okay. happens in the country every okay. 1st of August. So oh, like end of August. Yeah, more like emancipation. Okay. So she told me that you have to see this one. Mm -hmm. So I want to invite you back to the country. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I want to come with people. So that's why I came back, organized a chartered flight. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have 250 people from Ghana. From Ghana. Different part of Africa. Africa. So if you are watching this video from different part of Africa, you can join us. The link, I mean, he will put the link or the numbers on the screen so that you all can you know book and be part of the 250 people that yeah. are going to leave from africa to the caribbean okay and then i was like can we reverse the atlantic okay that is also the time we call the emancipation day mm -hmm. so we're going to bring you guys okay 250. And, then, and then we will also go there you can be from jamaica st lucia Trinidad, and tobago you book the trip and join the 250 people mm -hmm. and come in here. Actually, theirs are more cheaper than people living from Africa to the Caribbean. Okay. Because they are roughly around two thousand nine hundred dollars. Okay. Because Caribbean is so expensive. It's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a that's a difference between the Caribbean and Africa. So yeah. Those of you coming to Africa, Africa is way cheaper. Mm -hmm. But going to the Caribbean because of the it's very expensive. It's very expensive. So that's why people uh, that are going to move from here to the Caribbean are going to spend more money. And, and and even that, getting a flight from here today is really expensive. Very, and you have to very. go through US or go through uh, maybe Canada. You need a visa, transit visa and all so that So what stuff. we're doing, no visa required. No visa required. Both countries. Okay. So if you're coming to Ghana, if you're going to the Caribbean, you don't need visa. Okay. Um, the both government have come together to scrap visas for okay. all, anyone who will be on that trip. Okay. And uh, another, another thing is that you actually be received by... The, the entire presidency, the entire well, prime minister's office of, of Papedo. So you, maybe you might get a chance to meet the prime minister. Yeah, so, what, what am I? I want yeah. to make a request here. Yeah. So what am I? I want you to tell my subscribers yeah. to put my names together so that I can take part in this project because please, I really want to do it. Please, you know, you know what? Why you need to be on that trip? No. Because we're going to have 250 people from here. Mm -hmm to the Caribbean, yeah. 250 back. Yeah. I cannot be on both flights. Yeah. So I need people like you okay. to be on that trip to document the journey. So you know what? I am going to pay $1,000 for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. How about you? <laughs> yes. Please, just a dollar. I mean, we're going to make it happen. Yeah, we're going to make it happen. Charlie, make it thank happen. you very much. No, I, I want to see you on thank that trip. Thank you very much. Thank I really want to see you on that trip. Yeah, yeah. and that'll be the time to show you. please come back. Oh, come back. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because, because, some people no, will go there the, the Caribbean is so sweet, bro. The, see, the Caribbean is a world out of another world. Another world. Trust me. You wouldn't want to come back. When I went to the Caribbean, I didn't want to come back. 
I don't hey, I'm not. I'm not coming back, man. <laughs> I'm not coming back. Well, I saw the Trinidad and Tobago, uh, yeah, the, the I carnival. Think that's what's gonna happen? There's a carnival that is happening in on the first of August. All right. So I, I believe that you're gonna come back, but I don't. You're gonna have fun. I will. You're gonna will. have fun. Charlie. All right. Peace out. Thank you. One black, one black, one black, one black. This job is not easy, eh? Yeah. Alright, so um, we're currently in the yes, we're currently in the castle. Uh, today is Sunday. And yeah, we can. Yo, you don't know. Show them say Africa, we get everything inside, you know. Yes. Right down Cape Coast, Cast, you know. Some call it Gold Coast, Asian capital, you know. Africa, Jamaican. Really, like African, Jamaican. Yo, this is the life, man, African, Jamaican. I'm here, African, Jamaican. Yo, tell them. When we say money, but we need it on the street. Politicians, they make the system too bad, man. So how we can go, no wonder how we gonna break through. Me tell you about that. These are what I got in on. I get the you. You suffer, man. This is the original. Yo, brother. International <laughs> content creator. Creator. This man, this This man, this This man, this man. This man, this man. This man, this all right, like I said, uh, today is Sunday. What I came around, called me up, and then uh, we had to meet because he brought a family. Who is your man, Robert? Robert, yeah. how come? Yeah, so uh, what Amaya came out with me, you know, I'm not even going to make this video because this is what yeah. happened anyway. Yeah.